guys, how are you guys doing? I've already started on this look because I've been sitting here talking and didn't realize that it wasn't playing. Um, so yes, I hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well on this glorious, I'm doing this video on a Sunday, okay? But whatever day it is, I hope it is an amazing, um, blessed day. And if not, I pray it gets better, okay? I pray it gets better. Anyways, we are using the color Vino here with this eye crease brush from Sheena B. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we just went into the crease with this color. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this part here, but we will figure it out. I do have the powder. Um, I know, kind of backwards. This is kind of backwards. But y'all know because I'm not going to keep this on all day, like I'm just doing this to do this video, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But I see right now that this makeup look would not stay because I am using concealer and I did not use a setting powder for it either. Don't come for me. Okay, this is not a tutorial video. This is a come chat and talk with me video. Anyways, I don't, I don't. In this video, we're going to chat about my life. So, I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys before, but um, me and my sibling, we were, my brother, we were adopted as babies. And, I mean, as babies, as to where none of us can remember anything. Babies, not children, but babies, all right? We were adopted as, baby, as babies, and we didn't um, know that we were adopted until we were 19. That's where I left off. Everything in a nutshell, okay? So, with that being said, um, also, if you guys do not know, my mother passed in 2019. And, um, January 2019. But, we got our adoption papers December 2018. So, she gave that to us right before she passed. Um, let me, let me see y'all right now. Keep your comments to yourself if it's rude, okay? You can ask questions. I don't mind. But anything that would be out of pocket that would hurt your feelings, please keep it to yourself because just please keep it to yourself. Anyways, um, we got our adoption papers. Now, my brother, I believe, before then already did the ancestry. Um... His girlfriend at the time got it for him for a gift and so he was on there he found two siblings and that's all I'm gonna say about his his part because that's not my story to tell but he did find two siblings which opened the door for him and his journey so for me I never thought about ancestry like I saw them on TV and all that type of stuff but it never it never bothered me to where I'm like, oh, I should go on Ancestry and um, see if I have any type of matches or anything. It wasn't, I didn't care, honestly speaking. I didn't care. But my brother, um, you know, told me about his um, experience being on there and he told me that I should go on there. So I ended up listening at some point and I did. So when I first went on there, um, of course you get matched up to people, but they were very, they were down the line as, as far as, you know, family, as far as bloodline, they were further down the line. So if you're not, um, familiar with ancestry, they have close first to second cousins, third, fourth six like they're categorized um and then it goes to like distant cousins so i've had some i believe that were like second if i if i'm correct i believe i had like second cousins or something like that and then like further down the line so i did have um you know people try to reach out and ask questions and things like that but um and I'm gonna. I'm not gonna give every single detail about my paperwork and adoption. 
that I found out. But because even though it is my story, um, my story isn't just about me by myself. It does include other people. So I have to, I will be mindful of that for right now. Um, yeah. Of course, again, I'm sitting here talking to myself. Anyways, I will be mindful. I will be mindful of that. Y'all don't judge me. Okay, I will be mindful of them. Um, so yeah, I ended up finding, I believe he was the first cousin. I think that's how they categorized it on there. Um, but now, I don't know where I stopped off at, but this is going to start up again. Um, when I did, I reached out to him. Um, and it didn't go that far. Um, when I asked about his parents, he never answered me back. So I was just like, it is what it is. I'm not going to force or try to force anybody to talk to me or, you know, because I know it could be a sensitive subject. So I was just willing to really, really let it be. Um, now, I know, I don't know. During this process, I have a cousin who she is very much further down the line, but she has been a nice support system about this process um, because we were trying and we still are trying to figure out how she links up and what side she links up on as well. But she has really been supportive during this whole process. And I love the fact that she's been supportive, but I love the fact that we've also been, like within the last year, building a relationship between me and her. Um, so prayerfully this year, I get to meet her. Prayerfully, like I'm hoping I do. Um, so yeah, but that didn't go anywhere. And I told her, you know, okay. So like I was saying, I told my cousin that because of how that was, that I'm not going to really try to figure anything out. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to mess with anybody's life. You know, because... Yeah, I just, I don't want to mess with anybody's life. You know what I mean? Like, opening Pandora's box and making anybody feel uncomfortable or anything in that sort. Um, you know, if it's meant to be, like I said before, then it will come out but if not then at the end of the day I will be okay because I had a good life um, my parents were and are amazing um, you know and I would never take it to heart because I would never purposely try to take away from my family that raised me because you know at the end of the day blood or not that's my family you know what I mean and if it was meant to be for me to discover who they are then it would happen um, but I don't want to be the reason of any craziness turmoil or issues because I showed up <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Now, what I could tell you based off of my um, paperwork, because we're still at the time where I didn't really discover any, anybody, um, was that I had an older sibling who was a girl. So I knew that I had a sister who would have been, um, at the time, I think I was, what? Who's a year older than me? Okay. Um, So where I left off, I knew that I had a sister, um, 
And that also helped me with the idea of keeping going with this process. But once again, I'm not going to push. Okay, guys. So this is the base of my face. Um, I'm going to have to prolong the story because evidently it's not meant for me to tell right now. Because no matter what I do, it just keeps shutting off. Okay. I have never seen this in my life. But it is what it is. So let us continue this face. Okay. Let us finish this face so that we can move on okay i do apologize um if y'all want to continue to hear about it y'all let me know and i will find a way to do it to where my phone won't act like it has a mental problem okay See, I went here, but you can see, like, the shadowness here, which is crazy, but I love it. Like, I love it. I know they're on trend right now of lifting your cheekbones and doing it this way. And listen here. My face is the way that it is, is okay? And I don't want to do all that catch fish craziness. You know what I mean? Like... I look the way that I look and I want my makeup to be close to how my face will look without having makeup on. You know, I don't want nobody to be like, you know, I went to bed one way and wake up the next and that's not what I meant the night before. I'm using that as an example, okay? I'm using that as an example, guys. Not saying that I'm around here just sleeping with men that I met the night before, okay? in my past life <laughs> we're past that all right we're past that so <laughs> i knew what it sounded like so i had to fix it i read i had to fix it i had to fix it but here we go here we go okay Okay guys. Okay guys, that is it for this video. It has really been a struggle. <laughs> and I am just like over it at this point in time. Alright. Um, as you know, I will put pictures on social media. So if you do not follow me on well on Instagram. If you do not follow me on Instagram you should you should it's the same as my name here beautifully different me um yeah but i'm tired of fighting this space on my phone because evidently i don't have enough or it's just not meant for me to do this video at this current moment but with that being said this is it this is it for the face i will fix everything up and I will put it on Instagram so you can see the final, final look because I do need to do at least mascara to complete, complete the lip. I mean, this look, and then I need to do my lips. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been chopped up and it's not that <sighs> amazing because I left you guys in a loop with the story. But prayerfully, I can figure it out to where I can actually do the story, let you guys know what's going on. Um, <laughs> 
and continue from where I left off or just start all over again and do a synopsis. Who knows? But that is it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. And until the next video, be beautifully different. Stay beautifully different. And be you. Bye, guys.